This episode of SciShow is brought to you in partnership with Gates Notes. Head to GatesNotes.com to learn more about some of the latest breakthroughs in creating reliable, affordable, and accessible Alzheimer's diagnostics. Detecting Alzheimer's disease early on can be a huge challenge, but it's crucial to helping patients maintain a higher quality of life for a longer period of time. You might already know that Alzheimer's is a devastating form of dementia. It causes cognitive decline and memory loss that interferes with a person's daily life. But there's a small group of brain cells that starts changing an average of 25 years before that cognitive decline starts, and it could be a key to catching Alzheimer's decades earlier. One of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease is the accumulation of tau proteins in the brain. Tau proteins help healthy brains develop their cellular structure, but in Alzheimer's brains, they seem to change in a way that makes them harmful rather than helpful. There's a strong correlation between tau accumulation in the brain and cognitive impairment. While we don't know exactly how, tau sometimes clumps up within neurons to make a toxic tangle that can damage connections and destroy brain cells. Tangles got their name because they literally look like something is tangled around your brain cells. Cells. And they're found in the memory center, or hippocampus, of many aging brains. But previous studies have only found them widespread outside the hippocampus in the brains of patients with dementia. Scientists have compared postmortem brains of people who were diagnosed with Alzheimer's and people who weren't, and found that the brains of those with Alzheimer's have fewer cells and are smaller overall. The tangles kill off more and more brain cells as Alzheimer's progresses. So these tangles across the brain are bad news, but if we find them early, it's possible that people could start preventative treatment before cognitive decline rather than after it's too late to be effective. One of the first places that tangles form outside the hippocampus is a small group of cells called the locus ceruleus located in the brainstem, at the back of the brain where it meets the spine. Tangles can start accumulating there about 25 years before cognitive decline starts. And the locus ceruleus is connected to pretty much the entire brain. It's involved in regulating arousal and memory, among other things, by transporting the chemical norepinephrine to parts of the brain that control those behaviors. These are all processes that people with Alzheimer's have difficulty with. As Alzheimer's continues progressing, the locus ceruleus starts getting smaller by both volume and cell number. And this also affects the amount of norepinephrine in the brain and the central nervous system. In a 2017 study, scientists compared the brains of individuals with no symptoms and those with mild cognitive impairment, and found that in the group with mild cognitive impairment, the locus ceruleus was 30% smaller. Then stepping that up from mild cognitive impairment to mild moderate Alzheimer's symptoms, the locus ceruleus was an additional 25% smaller. But importantly, the locus ceruleus appears to start to get smaller even before a person usually gets an Alzheimer's diagnosis. This means that the locus ceruleus might be a good place to keep an eye on if someone is at higher risk for developing Alzheimer's. So using brain imaging technologies, it could be possible to give people regular checkups to monitor locus ceruleus size or norepinephrine concentration in the brain. One technology that makes this possible is an MRI. The locus ceruleus is a very small part of the brain, so it can be hard to see in an MRI, but MRIs that highlight the chemicals the locus ceruleus makes would show where it is. Another option is to get a PET scan. This technology can highlight cells with a lot of something called NET, which is the norepinephrine transporter, and it's found in high amounts where there's a lot of norepinephrine. So a PET scan searching for NET could also monitor the locus ceruleus. A sample of norepinephrine levels can also be taken from your plasma. A 2020 study found that low levels of plasma norepinephrine correlated with lower levels of tau in the brain. They also found that these plasma levels correlated with the mental state of the sampled Alzheimer's patients. This is just one study, and there's definitely a lot more research that needs to be done, but it's a promising starting point. If a professional sees a noticeable change in these characteristics, it could be a flag to look deeper and consider starting treatments before the tangles spread to other parts of the brain and cognition deteriorates. Preventative medicine is so important in many aspects of human health, and the earlier we are able to detect Alzheimer's, the better care we can provide for patients. Learning more about the complex ways it changes different parts of the brain can help us get closer to doing just that. Thank you for watching, and thank you to Gates Notes for sponsoring this episode of SciShow. If you're interested in learning more about the latest advancements in Alzheimer's diagnostics testing, from a simple blood test being developed in Sweden to highly sophisticated apps you might one day have access to on your smartphone, head to GatesNotes.com or click the link in the description. 